This is the way to the Lost Talia. And this is our last chance to make things right. You said going down here would be like entering Lambda himself, yeah? We can't worry about that now. We'll simply have to face whatever is waiting for us. Sophie shared her power. Now all that's left is for us to trust each other. I can't believe how big this is. The ruins on the surface continue all the way down. So my theory was right! I saw some documents on Fodra that outlined a big plan for moving the Lestalia. Moving the Lestalia? They wanted the core of our world? Nope, the exact opposite. I think the Amarsian predecessors moved the Lestalia out of Fodra and into Aphinia. I see. Then this would be the area they used to transport it. Probably! Is that a wall? Aw, oh, nuts. We can't get past it. Sophie? Hey, how did you get through? We can pass, but we have to work together. Okay, let's give it a shot. Ah, what's happening to my head? Lambda! Playing with your blocks again, are you? That's a good boy. Are you happy to be praised like that? If so, then you should smile like this. <laughs> I know it feels strange at first, but in time you'll learn how to smile on your own. Director Cornell. Ah, hello there, Emerald. Sir, I've been thinking, and I believe your methods are mistaken. We're to study Lambda's abilities, not to shape his moral fiber or aesthetics, and that's all we're tasked to do. I believe proceeding with such a plan will inevitably raise a number of grave ethical concerns. Ethical concerns? So you consider it unethical? For me to teach this child how to laugh, or even if I show him what it means to cry? Of course it's unethical. The point remains this body was provided merely as a convenience for our continued research. A body may influence a soul just as a soul can shape a body. Just look at the child. Every day he becomes more and more human. To tell you the truth, I have a great number of things in store for this interesting young boy, Emerald. I think he may well be the first of his kind to transcend the bounds of humanoids and become a new kind of being. He is indeed nothing less than the hope of our future personified. Huh. Lambda here has a good many things yet to learn, and I want him to grow up, to be a healthy and carefree young boy. Yes, he should live as nothing less than human. Did everyone just see that? That was the Research Institute on Fodra, right? I believe we saw part of the same vision there. 
It wasn't just Lambda. Emerald and that man from the Institute's records were there too. I don't understand. How could we share a vision like that? It may be because Lambda is trying to merge with this world. Yeah, well, I don't think it was harmful or whatever. Everybody still feel okay? No problems here. I've been thinking about that vision ever since we saw it in the Institute. I guess I'm surprised that Lambda would smile like that. We can't discount the possibility that the vision is a trap of some kind. There could be trouble ahead. Let's move fast, but watch our steps. He did smile. Didn't he? Why did Richard choose to be with you, Lambda? Just what are you? So even Lambda smiles. When I was a kid, everyone was always all, Oh, there goes that smiling Pascal again! Not me. When I lived in Strata, I was known as the child who never smiled. You don't smile now, either. I suppose I can't really deny that. But nonetheless, I was still shocked to see Lambda smile. I didn't think he was capable of it. What may have prompted him? Maybe he just felt like it. That's not an answer. How should I know? It's just, when I see someone smile, I feel good. So maybe it was something like that. Does that mean you'd like to see me smile? No, not really. I had a feeling you'd say that. Stop this at once, Emerald! You can't just throw him away! The board's decision has already been made, Cornell. But why? Why would you do this after all the progress we've made? You and I know very well the current crisis that is affecting our world. The creatures we injected with Lambda cells have turned into violent monsters, and now they threaten our very lives. And we now know for certain that the cause is Lambda himself. Lambda has the unique ability to mentally control any creature that has been injected with his cells. And for this reason, the board has determined that he is far too dangerous to be left alive. This is your fault. You're the one who forced him to undergo all of those horribly cruel experiments in the first place. Who wouldn't lash out like that if they were treated in such an awful manner? Who in their right mind wouldn't fight back? Nevertheless, he remains a threat to us all so long as he is permitted to exist. It's too late. The board has ordered us to dispose of him immediately. Enough! You've gone too far this time! I'll see that you hang for this emerald. Mark my words! No, Cornell. I'm afraid it is you who will hang. The board has ordered you to be placed in detention. You ignored the direct orders of your superiors, and raised Lambda as you saw fit. You were trying to make him into a new Lustalia now, weren't you? No, I was just... What a shame. This research is a threat to all of Fodra. Your ideas are fanatical and your methods reckless. Even the thought that you might use Lambda as our new Lustalia is utterly terrifying. Do you have any idea at all why I put so much effort into raising him as a human being? It's because I... Take him away, now! No, stop! Emerald! Emerald! Don't destroy him, please! Emerald! Cornell was insane to treat this thing like a human. Lambda is a scientific curiosity. A bit of data, sloshing around a tube, nothing more. Wouldn't you agree with me, Lambda? Now then, go to sleep.
minute. So Lambda was innocent? Emerod told us that Lambda was responsible for Fodra's destruction, but now... Asbel, now's not the time to begin contemplating the past. All we know for sure is that he was the subject of multiple scientific experiments, and that those experiments were the source of the ensuing chaos. But it also seems like it wasn't his fault, at least not as much as we originally thought. Maybe the scientists just blamed it all on him because they needed a scapegoat or whatever. What do you guys think? Whatever the case may be, there's no point in wild speculation. We should focus on reaching Lambda as soon as possible. You're right. Lambda had a hard life. Just like me, I suppose. But I had friends to help me when things were at their worst. I had the support I needed to get through it. What about him? The Emerald in those visions seemed a lot different from the Emerald we knew. The Emerald that we all met was probably a humanoid. You think so? Yes, she must have transferred her psyche. That's how she survived the deep sleep. She went to such great lengths to protect Fodra. Contrary to what we originally believed, she must have been a very committed person. I think so. But even if her intentions were good, she was still wrong in the end, wasn't she? Oh. I'm sorry, Sophie, you're right. But hey, don't worry, okay? Even if we could understand Emerald's intentions, we'll never agree to her methods. We'll protect the things we love without hurting anyone, right? Yes. This must be one of the drills they use to dig the Guardia Shaft! It's huge! To think that this place was built here so long ago. I can barely imagine it. But this is real, even if it feels like a dream. Regardless, this is our world, and we will figure out how to exist in it. True. After all, people found ways to survive in the harsh environments of Fendel and Strata. Yeah, and because they stuck it out, this world survived and became a home to everyone. You don't often consider it, but in a way, the work of those people serves to protect our lifestyles, even now. You're right. Why didn't I see it that way before? They probably couldn't think of anything else but their own survival. But by working hard to secure their own future, it helped pave ours. It gives me hope that what we do now will eventually help those who come after us. I think so too, Asbel. been scared, you poor thing. But don't worry. I'll protect you no matter what happens. Please trust me. Please give me just one more chance. Please. Cornell, didn't I have you arrested? Emerald, it's you. Look at what that thing has done here. And yet you still defend it. Well, no matter. I'll just have to take things into my own hands. No, you won't. I'll do whatever it takes. I am going to protect Lambda! This is truly annoying. Very well, then, if that's how you want it to be. Don't worry, Lambda. Trust me. Those two humanoids there. But Emerald, no. You didn't. Oh, but I did. I even used your research. That's how I was able to create them. They're beautiful, don't you think? Now then. Lambda! Run for the shuttle! Go! 
Seize them! Hurry! Do not let them escape! Kill them if they resist! Director Cornell gave his life to help Lambda escape. He was willing to sacrifice himself for something that no one else believed in. He must have been one of Lambda's true friends. Maybe his only one. Perhaps. Lambda, what happened to you after Cornell went away? <sighs> Don't tell me you've begun to sympathize with Lambda. Don't be ridiculous. No, actually, you're right. And how will it help to sympathize with an enemy? I know, I just... I understand where Lambda's coming from. Why? When I was suffering, I had Sophie, and you, and everyone else to lean on. I didn't have to face it alone, but Lambda... Then, let me ask you this. If you didn't have friends to help you, what would you have done? Resented humanity? Destroyed the world? I don't know. Probably, I guess. Asbel! But... Don't joke around. Now answer the question. To be honest, I can't say for sure that I wouldn't have done those things. Fine, I understand. But if that were to happen, believe me, I'd come over and lecture you anyway. So it's really a moot point. If I was alone... Even still. Um, what's this? If I'm correct, when you rotate this pedestal, the giant spheres on this floor change position in a similar way. I see. So the positions of the small spheres on the pedestal are connected to the larger spheres? It looks that way. If you were to draw a line out from the small spheres and look in that direction... Oh, you can see the large spheres. Now, we just have to figure out how to use this to our advantage. Yes. I'm scared. My chest is so tight. We must be close. Let's be sure we're on the same page. Our objective is not to fight King Richard. 
It's to eradicate Lambda. It means hurting him. But if we can weaken Richard, I think we can drag Lambda out of him. Sophie, I'm sure you know this, but... You are a formidable force, even without your mutual destruction function. There is no need to consider that option. Yes, I understand. Then we're ready. Let's go, everyone. The Lost Talia is just ahead. These must be the remains of humanoids who worked on the Guardia Shaft. The people of Fodra used humanoids as tools to be thrown away. How sad. Thank you for your hard work, everyone. Huh? These humanoids fulfilled their duty, their mission. It's not sad. You're not thinking of the mutual destruction thing again. No, I'm not. Besides, I... I want to be with all of you. I know. We all feel the same way, Sophie. Yes, all of us. I concur. As do I. Me too! <laughs> What the hell is this thing? Please... Everyone stand strong! We can't let it near the village! You don't understand! What? Who are you? You again. Target acquired. Initiating attack. Why? Why won't you leave me alone? Do you hate me that much? Sophie, when did that initial battle with Lambda happen? Do you remember? It happened when I first came to this world. And then it appeared, with us and Richard in the secret passage seven years ago. So that monster who attacked us back when we were still kids, that was... Lambda? It looked like he was just trying to stay alive. Maybe all he wants is to live. Lambda is close. I feel his presence growing stronger. It's time. Right. Let's find him and finish this once and for all. Lambda was used and betrayed, and his life was threatened. You're only pretending to like me, so you can use me later. It's always the same. People are only nice to me when they want something for themselves. And when I become king someday, those same people will come for me as well. Yes. My uncle tried to poison my father, aunt, and... 
as I expected. He did the same to me. He will curse the day he tried to take my life. I will make him pay. So that's why Richard and Lambda came together. Both of them suffered more than anyone should, and they both want revenge. I can't blame Richard. Not after all he's been through. I remember when I lost Sophie, when my father died, when I was banished from want. What if Lambda had been there with me? What would have happened? If I wasn't lucky enough to have friends that helped me, what would have happened? 